<laughs> Great. Uh, well, good afternoon, Chairman Mendelson and the other members of the committee. My name is Maya Baum. I'm a fourth grade teacher uh, in DCPS and a resident of DC. Uh, I know you spent a long time listening to many other testimonies, and hopefully nothing I say today is new. So I've been a teacher in DC for eight years. I moved back here after getting my undergraduate degree and my master's degree in teaching. I share this information with you because I think it's important for people in power to realize and remember that teachers are professionals and experts in our field. Most of us are certified and trained in the best ways to educate and support students. Since the pandemic, teachers are not okay. We're being tasked with stricter curriculum that does not allow us to adapt to the needs of our students and to our professional insight. I don't feel like I even have time to teach because we're constantly being forced to administer different assessments that continue to tell us the same thing we already know, which is our students are struggling. But I don't need to give an RCT or an ANET to tell you that. Yet it seems no one who makes policies cares what I have to say as the professional in the field. We would rather listen to test scores, which should be one marker we use, but has now become the only marker we listen to. And as others have stated, this is the opposite of equity, but rather the way we uphold systems of racism and oppression. I would love to help my students learn. It's why I'm a teacher. But that requires time for me to plan and time for me to teach and time for my students to practice and learn. Yet DCPS and the city of DC does not seem to think that teaching and learning require time. Since the pandemic hit, and truthfully, this was true before, we are being forced to accelerate and increase rigor as if that will suddenly teach students who can't read how to read. My students this year and last year more than ever need time. They are struggling with having survived this global pandemic, but we refuse to give them time to process and recover. They are children. Everything about acceleration and rigor goes against child development. And the worst part is there are people who will respond to what I'm saying by saying that I am setting low standards. And to that I say, how dare you? How dare you assume that I don't want my students to succeed? How dare you assume teachers are making decisions based off of laziness rather than our professional expertise around child development and, ped and pedagogy? It is this environment that is escalating the already existing crisis we've been in. Why should we continue working in a job where we are not valued or seen as professionals or experts? This is not new. The council, the city of DC needs to act now. Teachers need a contract that allows for us to financially afford the cost of living. We need flexible scheduling that allows us time to plan and prepare. We need there to be substitutes so we can take time off to care for our bodies and our mental health. We need there to be real professional development that we choose that's based off of what we need to better our teaching and learning rather than the forced BS we are required to attend. If those in power do not start listening to teachers now and start viewing teachers as the experts of schools and learning, then we are to continue on this path where we won't have educators to educate our children and then our society will not be able to thrive and grow. Because what happens when children are not given the tools to learn and grow and then they become adults? Thank you for your time today. I really hope that we